Hey what's up guys, it is the Monetize YouTuber here and welcome back to the channel and today guys I am bringing you a brand new asset review and in this episode we're going to be talking about the Water 2D tool. And if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to hit the thumbs up button down below and also subscribe so you stay up to tune for new content coming up soon and also let us know in the comments if you have any asset you would like me to check out. And with that being said let's check out the Water 2D tool. Alrighty guys, here we are again, sitting in front of our computers in a day, in a dark day for small content creators where YouTube is like, yeah, I'm gonna mess you guys up. I shouldn't be saying that, Papa might not be happy over this. Anyhow, we're gonna be checking the Water 2D tool, which is a 2D water asset created by Nichrome, and it's located under VFX shaders substances in the asset store page. It can be used for any kind of 2D game to make it more dynamic and engaging with a water. This asset pack comes with a low price tag of 15 bucks, so you can can grab it from the asset store page for $15 and it's primarily used for 2D games, 2.5D games, which we're gonna get into a little bit later in this video, where water physics are a necessity, or just simply to add good looking 2D water to the game. The core features of this asset are 2D and 2.5D support, like I mentioned earlier, water flow, physics bait buoyant force, idle waves, support for 2D and 3D colliders, and many more. I have personally tried it for now for a while, and it works really, really well on a computer. It's not highly suited for mobile platforms like there is not an official version for mobile platforms but the author himself has given a few tricks on the asset store page on how you can actually optimize for mobile so if you want to check that part out and if you want to check out the asset in itself i'm going to link it in the description down below so feel free to click the link so now before we get into pros and cons we're going to be talking about developer response which is pretty much how fast the developer is responding on the asset store page and how the support is and how regular the asset updates are so first and foremost the developer is very active with replying to asset reviews on the store page and has an active forum thread running so it's perfectly fine. The asset was released in May 2015 and is now at version 1.5 which was actually released this month. And there were many features added to the asset now with the latest version so it's obvious to see that it's actually still supported. Now for the pros and cons we're gonna get started with the pros and I'm gonna start by saying great amount of features. I really like the features. It feels like a very complete asset for just 15 bucks and I'm really satisfied with my purchase. It's also very quality rich with all the features like splash effects, ripples and more so you have support for pretty much everything a 2D water would actually require in a 2D game. I honestly believe that it's also extremely cheap for the features supported like I looked through the market, I looked through the asset store and it you know this was actually one of the cheapest assets out there for 2D water. The new features also look awesome like I mentioned earlier such as ambient waves, rain simulation, dynamic and texture abstractions and many more features that are listed on the asset store page. I also tried this asset on my MacBook which runs an Intel HD 4000 as a graphics card and it had a good frame rate on a low-end computer like that as well because my MacBook is pretty old so it's highly suitable for your 2D games 2.5D games because the computers are not going to have any trouble running the games. And for the cons part I don't really have like a huge con but just maybe a mobile version would be cool or at least like a preset for mobile version would be cool but that's not a big con honestly just that I want to put it out there since many more people would have found this asset earlier if it was actually supporting mobile officially. But I mean in the assets defense the author also shared some tips for optimization on the asset store page like I said before and also it's for 15 bucks so you can't really expect more than what you're actually getting I think. Alright guys, so here we are in Unity and now we're going to take a look at what actually follows in the asset when you first open it up. So first and foremost, we are in the demo scene by the way, you can see here. And you have this little root folder here called Water2D Tool. And then inside of it, we straight up get to the assets folder, docs, and then examples. Docs obviously contains just documents for getting started, etc. And a few tips and tricks. And then examples are where the demo scenes is actually located. There are actually two different demo scenes. One is older and this is the new version. And then the assets folder is actually where all the magic is. So you have your prefabs, you have your materials, gizmos, you have resources, scripts, SFX, sound effects, and then shaders and textures too. So in the sound effects folder, you have your water splash effect, which you can actually hear from the demo scene as well if I played it. 
and um, you can obviously change it up a little bit, you know, add your own splash effect, etc. because this is just a sound file, and you can just change the variable from the asset right away, so it's really, really cool. And inside of the materials folder, you have your GPU, water, refraction, and only transparency. If you want to change up the materials a little bit, you can play around with these, or if you want to perhaps create your own one, it doesn't really matter, but uh, you can still take this as inspiration. And inside of the prefabs folder, we really just do have 2D Collider Water, 3D Collider Water, and then Particle System. And 2D is for specifically 2D games, and then 3D Collider Water is more like for 2.5D games, where you can use a little bit more of a perspective to actually look at the water, so that it's not just an outline with a perspective, which is right in front of the water. Um, in the resources folder, you have all the resources that were used for creating this, such as the shaders. If you want to change that up, you can check it out. Uh, I don't think that it's going to be very interesting for you to check out, but yeah. And then inside of the scripts folder, uh, you have your water 2D ripple effect, and um, I can't really see the name of this. Oh, there we go. Simulation and also tools. So uh, it's pretty cool. You have It's very straightforward, and you get started very, very easily by looking at the demo scene only. So in conclusion, who would I recommend this asset to? So anybody creating a 2D or 2.5D game in Unity who wants water in their game can actually use this asset, to be honest. It looks great, it's budget friendly for an indie developer, which is a huge prop, and has a lot of support and gets updated every now and then. So there are, I, can't, I couldn't really find any cons as well, like if you guys recall from the cons part of this video, maybe just the mobile version would be cool, but still in its defense, you do have the tips and tricks from for optimization from the author himself so I can't really complain on that part honestly it's not really like a con that I want to put out for people and now with that being said guys I would like to thank you all so much for watching this video and for all the support on the discord server in the comment section and on my videos and channel lately in general the community is awesome we're kind of blowing up right now and it's just filling up with new awesome people and speaking of which if you're new to the channel make sure to hit the thumbs up button down below and most importantly subscribe to make sure you stay up to tune for new content and that you join the community and to join the community even further and join our discussions etc and chat with us you can actually join the discord server which is going to be linked in the description and also in the comment section down below and guys if you have any suggestions on what kind of asset you would like me to check out next in the next episode of asset reviews in Unity or UE4, let me know in the comments, link them, if they get spam, like marked, for, marked as spam from YouTube, because they sometimes do when you actually paste links, I will just make sure to make them public, because I can see when comments are marked as spam. And with that being said guys, once again, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed your time, I will either catch you in the comments or in the Discord server. See you guys, bye bye.